Hello once again. Here we are with more Scared Shitless. Um, Mike sent me something from Child's Play 2, which I don't think I ever saw. So it's going to be a new to me. Looks like this one's uh, courtesy of Fandango. So uh, I'll tell Luxie and see what Mike has sent. So this car has gone off. Chuck in the back. It's not annoying at all, that sound. Alright. Uh, obviously, something bad is going to happen. Just drive. Okay, okay. <laughs> that guy took it pretty well. I would have jumped out the car. I would have ghosted right out of there. Imagine he saw in the rearview mirror that a doll. It has a gun up to his face, and salty language, too. This guy's definitely about to die. Put your arms behind the seat. What? Do it! Hey, take it easy, take it easy. Even do that. Please, don't, don't shoot. Look, I, 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 I don't if you assume it's just a, a little got, person go I, I, dressed like a doll. Tell me what you want. Please, well, asshole. Again, take my language. Take the car and you can drop me off, but just please leave me alone. <laughs> oh, now it's dawning on him. You're dead. <laughs> yeah. I look like a, a water gun. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want to go that way. Okay, Mike. And one of your hallmarks is uh, uh, dolls or toys coming to life. So uh, I get that right off the bat, uh, but more so, and it's something that I would never, if I had, if I had to die, if I had to be murdered, uh, it's one way I would not want to go. Is first off being tied up, but then having just a plastic bag over your head and you just you can't breathe anymore. I mean, that's just terrible thing. So this is a, a definite double whammy uh, from Mike's point of view, for sure. Um, yeah, that's a good one, Mike. Yeah, it started off kind of goofy because it's a, you know, a little doll and a water gun and hardy har har, but uh, yeah, getting uh, getting choked out and losing your life that way, that, that would be a, a huge suck. So um, yeah, good job. Hello, everyone. Michael is me. Hello. We're going to go ahead and dive right into this clip from uh, Evil Dead. I didn't see if it was one or two. I don't remember. I've seen uh, both of them, plus Army of Darkness. I didn't see the newer stuff or the television program, but very solid stuff. I remember nothing, nothing of it. Great mouth. I'm smart. Um, yeah, I don't remember a goddamn thing about these movies, so uh, let's, uh, let's hop in. Right away, blood and nastiness, and you know, Bruce Campbell's so charming. Everyone's gross, tossing the old Necronomicon, the Book of the Dead. Yeah, yeah. Just not happy. Anytime I see, oh, jeez, that would have been so much worse than a gooey, scary uh, creature. I don't like blood that's not traditional blood colors, that is for sure. Don't like hearing human body parts snap like a branch, either. Don't like stop motion decomposition and rotting. So you've done very well, Bill. I'm waiting for some white pus, but 
There, there's some green pus, so there we are. All right. Always with the pus. I love it. I'm upset by pus, too. I just don't have as many pus memories. That's just really good stop motion more than anything else. That is awesome looking. It's fucking repulsive and deeply, deeply upsetting. But uh, it's almost more cool and exciting than anything else. It's just there's so much happening. I don't like the sounds. None of it. It's all very upsetting, but very cool. Give it a lot of credit for being cool. Some of you would have seen on music television back in the, the 80s and the 90s. Don't like skulls? I don't like remembering that there's anything beneath us. And oh god, that's just creamed corn. That's just anatomically incorrect more than anything else. Yeah, I don't like skull. I don't like guts. I don't even really like blood all that much. I don't like knowing there's anything under here because then I think of being dead and... I don't do well with that stuff. At all. Eh. It's just all... It's so cartoonish and so ridiculous. And it is really, really gross. And I know I would have been super bummed out as a child. Oh my god, the exploding throat. No, thank you. Good god. I'm just going back and forth between like, this is cool and this is upsetting. Exploding skull. Upsetting. Worms and bugs. Stupid. Fun. I like it. I really don't enjoy the noises. That's for sure. And they're just melting down, burning, acid, nastiness. Crystallizing. I would love to know if Sam Raimi's ever seen the inside of a human body. I understand it's a horror film. I understand it's science fiction and fantasy and nonsense. But I don't know where his brain came up with the idea that those things would have been inside a person at any time, no matter what supernatural stuff is going on. I would love to sit down with Samuel and show him a, a biology book. I'm no expert, I'm a moron, but I don't think we have creamed corn in here. And I've never heard of a creature that does either, but regardless, very nice, very nice clip. Uh, that is some classic William scared shitless material. Uh, deeply upset and also, Kind of cool. Goodbye.